Okay, welcome to Simple Snake Game in Python 3 for Beginners, Part 7. Uh, this is where we're going to work on scoring, because we basically have a working game. I get the food, and when I go off the screen, the game ends. Okay, but we don't have any scoring system. So let me actually file and save this. File save as. Make sure this is saved as Snake Game Part 7. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Um, so what I need to do... With the turtle module, the turtle module has a very convenient function called write uh, that we can use to put text on the screen. So I'm going to first create a turtle to use as a pen. So it comes as no surprise, I'm going to call it pen. And turtle.turtle. Okay. Um, Pen.speed, zero, as I've talked about before, that's the animation speed. Now this really doesn't matter so much, the shape, because we're actually not going to be able to see it. Uh, but I just like to be consistent. The color does matter, because that'll change the text color. And this one I'm going to use white. We want the pen to be pen up, because we're not going to draw any lines. And here's an interesting one. We're going to hide the turtle. You can also use HT if you're lazy and don't want to type hide turtle. And then the pen is going to go to 0, 260, which will be kind of up here somewhere on the screen. And we want to write our default score. So pen.write score zero. Put two spaces, you don't have to, I just like to. Zero, because when the game starts, that's the score. Then comma align equals center. And font equals. Now notice there's an extra parenthesis here. I'm going to use courier. 24 point font and normal as opposed to italics and that sort of thing. Okay, and I notice the colors are a little weird here because I forgot the extra thing there. So you need to make sure that you've got a left parenthesis, left parenthesis, two right parentheses. This is a very, very common mistake. Probably about half of you will make that. Um, it's very easy to forget that final parenthesis and it is quite common. So let's test this and see if it works. don't see anything. Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's try it. I don't see the score up there, which is not what I wanted to see. So let's close that. Ah, there it was. That was the old one. Okay, so it is working. Um, so this happens sometimes in Visual Studio Code. If I forget to close the old one, um, the new one won't open until I close the old one. So you can see I got the score zero. And I also have a high score, which I'll talk about in a minute. Okay, so um, so the, the drawing is working. So what we need to do is we need to basically create some variables. So under our delay time, I'm going to say score. And I'm going to say score equals zero, because when we start the game, that's the score. And high score equals zero. Notice I used lowercase letters, underscore, and lowercase letters. This is the preferred way of writing Python code. In Python, we don't do camel case like that. Um, this is the way Python is meant to be written. Uh, it'll still work if you do it the other way, but it's it's not preferred. Okay, so now we got to think about in what situations does the score increase, and the first or change, I should say. Um, so the first one is when there is a collision with the food. Okay, we want to increase the score. Okay, so what I'm going to do. Let's see, where's that? Collision with the food. Okay, we added a segment, and I'm going to say uh, increase the score. So I'm going to say score plus equals 10. What that does is it adds 10 to the current score. Now, some other language you might see score equals score plus 10. This will work in Python. But a shortcut is plus equals 10. We can also do minus equals 10, multiply, etc but we want to add 10 to the score. So if the score is 10, we add 10, it's now 20. It's 20, we add 10, it's now 30. Okay. Uh, the next thing you want to do is check the high score. So if the score is greater than the high score, then we set the high score to the new score. And then the next thing is pen.write. Okay, so score brackets. Remember I put two spaces here. Again, you can do it how you like. I'm going to use the format method. So 
score, high score. Watch your parentheses. You need that whole thing about a line equals center. And let's kind of scroll over a little bit. Center. You basically just need that entire line again. So let me uh, get that. See if I can read that. Or actually, what you want to do is just copy. That's uh, probably a smart thing to do. So you can just copy the font part since you already know that part works. And come down to here. Uh, let's see, where do we put that? Equal center, comma, font. Again, just again, watch your parentheses, watch your uh, commas, make sure everything's in the right spot. Let's run that. We're going to have a little bit of a problem, which I'll explain in a second. Okay, so watch what happens when I eat the food. Okay, so it went up, but you see some weird things on the screen. Okay, so what's happening is it's actually drawing on top of itself. Okay, so what we got to do is before we actually write that again, is we got to do pen.clear, and that clears it off the screen. So very straightforward. So score goes up, high score goes up. Okay. All right, so basically it's working. Now let's see what happens if I hit the wall. Okay. Notice the score stayed the same as did the high score. High score is okay, but the score needs to be reset. Okay, so we need to find our code where we collided with the border. Okay, and we need to update the score there as well. So where's that at? Yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna go reset the score. I'm going to say score equals zero. And what I want to do is the same thing I did down here is then I need to draw that on the screen. So I'm just going to copy these two lines. I already have them. That's the nice thing about like, you know, testing and typing is that, or, you know, typing and testing is that once one thing works, we can just copy it and run it from there. Let's test that real quick. And, and this is another thing about games when you are programming in general. You need to test your test what's going on. I'm going to run in the wall. It's working fine. Okay. So at this point, you might say, "Oh, hey, game's done. Hey, I I did what I needed to do. Um, time to go home or show it off to the world." Um, but there's actually a problem with this, and I can't do it because it's running. The body isn't too long. Isn't long enough yet. Shoot. That's a tough one to get the corner. So I need to get the body to a certain length. Sorry, I panicked. Oops, I'm not very good at this game. <laughs> you think I'd put a cheat mode in for myself? Uh, okay, let's see if I can. Okay, so I hit my own body, but the scores didn't re reset. So I have to put the same exact code in that part where I did the body collision. Now again, what I should probably do is make a function so I'm not repeating code. It's, it's not the best thing uh, to do. But uh, check. so sorry, check right with collision with body segments. So I'm going to put that in here. Now watch here though, because the intenting is different. Okay, so because we have a for statement and an if statement, so these need to be indented as well. And in the interest of keeping the video short, um, I will just assume that that is correct and there are no problems. Um, there's no errors. Okay, now the last thing I wanna do uh, before we close this down uh, is, there's two, two things I wanna point out, is as the snake gets longer, um, the drawing slows down. This is a artifact of the turtle module. Um, there's no way, real way around it, except to go to something more advanced like Pygame, uh, which doesn't quite have that problem, or at least not until you have a huge number of uh, items on the screen. Um, but for us, since we, we were using the turtle module to keep it simple, what we can do, it actually kind of works out, what we can do is when the player touches the food, we can shorten the delay. So let's see here, when the collision with the food, we can also, doesn't matter where we put it, but as long as it's in the right section, so shorten 
So what I what I did with this, and again, your computer speed might be a little different, so I'm gonna do minus equals 0 0.001. Because nor normally it's like 0, 0, 001, uh, 0 0.01. Okay. And then when I run this, I don't know if it'll be evident on the screen. We get to a pretty big size. I don't know if it's become evident, but it's it is speeding up a little bit. So right now it's about 10% faster. So as the snake's getting longer, the game's speeding up, and that just definitely increases the challenge. Um, so the only thing you have to remember is when I hit the wall, it's still going faster. Okay. So what you got to do is at that point is with if you collide with the body segments, we'll say you know, reset the delay. So delay equals 0 0.1. And then we need to do the same thing up here when we touch the wall. And I'll say reset the delay. And delay equals 0 0.1. Again, I think that's pretty much it. I think we got a pretty well, oops, didn't want to do that. We've got a fully functioning game. And it is. Yeah, pretty challenging. Um, I think the highest I've got is like 360 on this so far. Um, so see if you can beat that high score. Okay, so like I said, if you like this tutorial, please uh, you know follow or subscribe. Uh, if you have any problems, do write me a comment. Be sure to share the code so I can help. And I do have plenty of other tutorials that can help you to learn a little bit more about Python. So again, thanks for watching and have a good uh, weekend, whatever it is, wherever you're at. See ya.